Blackset family, Blackset family, Blackset family. I'm here with Blackset family, Crystal, Alicia, and little 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 man A. <laughs> and we're here in what I've coined Blackset City. Really, really sorry about the delay. We're actually en route to go to Sanyang. We're trying to go and see the Alcalo about the last few computers to give to the project there. So we're going to go and see him um, to go and give him those projects. I'm oh, sorry, those computers for his project. And so, yeah, we're just really enjoying the serenity and the beauty of what is going to be Black Six City because a number of Black Six subscribers have already bought their plots of land. So I want to congratulate you. I've already received your uh, transfer titles. So I want to congratulate you. You know who you are. And also for the ones that are in the process, you will soon be landowners. Um, all the, the paperwork has been put in. So I want to congratulate you as well. So thank you for deciding to Black Six and for getting your piece of Africa and for realizing it. Any comments on what your experience has been since you've been here in the Gambia? So we've got Crystal here, we've got Alicia here, we've got... $9 Listen, saying in England is well. crazy. You yeah. need to bring some back with you. Make sure when you, before you go today, you see a cashew seller and you fill up a whole big bag, do a deal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Get 500 Delassie's worth of uh, cashews yeah. and bring yeah. them back over you because they're worth their weight in gold. And that they're fantastically yeah. good yeah. for you. Gambia is the perfect gateway for the continental version person because the people are very soft yeah. and soft spoken so um, the pace is a little bit slower so if you've never been to the continent before and you want to come and explore it and you don't really have any other connections you don't know anybody or you don't really have a support network to get you there the Gambia is the perfect gateway into Africa for you because of the temperament of the people they're very patient with you they're soft with you I've given people so much more money and people counted when they had to be back taking us to the side and helped us understand the currency they help us understand what the cost of things how things should cost uh, they've literally taken our hand so i'm not a continental version i've been coming back and forth to the continent for the last four years ghana is grown and i know everybody says there's nothing wrong with going to ghana if that's the look you want you want that metropolitan you want to still feel like you're in new york you go to accra and you get all of that but the pace is faster and people are not going to have that patience with you uh, to help you understand how to navigate Africa as the Gambian people are naturally welcoming. So they're not going to, Ghana, they're not going to be patient with you. They're going to expect you to have it together and know what you want and the, you're going to have to move faster. But if you need to ease into the continent when you're making your black sit, the Gambia is just a better place for you, especially if you're a continental version and you don't really have a support system on the continent. The Gambian people will definitely take care of you and teach you how to be an African. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my sister, give me hope. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. This lady has been so kind. She came with a trailer load of computers and she's given them out and we're out to give it out to the next project. So we better hurry up because I need to find the Sanyang's house, the Alcalo of Sanyang, um, to give them to him. So we're going to head now to Sanyang. This has been a wonderful day of unity of you know, sister and brotherhood. It's just been an amazing day. And this is a, a, a point of possibility. And I wanted you to see the possibilities. Because when I bought my house, it was just like this. In fact, it wasn't clear. It was more like that. It was pure bush. It was bush. Oh, wow. Look, yeah. pretty little. It was bush, 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 la bush, la bush, bush, bush. <laughs> and now you see it. Yeah. I told you we'd go on the highway. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And the same thing will happen here. You're just getting ahead. Mm -hmm. So when you're saying, oh, you know, why is the land so cheap? It's 75,000 Delassi, yeah? yeah? The reason why is because you're just slightly getting ahead of the crowd. Mm -hmm. We're looking for development opportunities. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at possibilities. And so the only way we can offer them at cost, if not, I could go and take you to a piece of land for 1.5 million, 2.5 million even. I've got those in Kaloli. If you're looking for expensive land in Kaloli, I could take you to a piece of land that's selling right now for 1.7 million. Yeah, there's two plots. Yeah, in Kaloli, right by where I live. But if you want to come and start something special, then, and you don't have a huge amount of money, this is the perfect, you know, project for you. So what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Blacks and family, thank you so much. We're going to go on to the next spot. We love you and uh, we appreciate you so much. Yeah.